Hey everyone, it's me again with something new you all was searching for. I spent the last two weeks working on this video, which is a comparison between Atom OS and one of the most well-known Windows builds kernel OSs. This is not a typical comparison video like the ones I've posted before. We'll be using advanced methods to compare both builds across latency, disk usage resources, usage power consumption, and hardware temperatures. So let's get started and see what we'll cover. Testing tools. DPC latency to benchmark the actual delay in handling deferred procedure calls. Latency mon to monitor DPC slash ISR latency. Heavy load for stability and stress testing. User bench for a quick performance comparison against other systems. Minecraft for FPS testing for sure cause it's the only game I play. PC specs and settings. My PC specs. My CPU is i4910F. My GPU is RTX 20606GB with 16GB RAM and just that. First, let's take a look at both builds. Both builds are based on Windows 11. Atom OS is based on version 24H2, while Kernel OS is based on version 23H2, which is older and some apps may not be fully supported. Atom OS comes with zero bloatware. Only the main Windows apps are installed. Kernel OS, on the other hand, comes with more pre-installed apps. These apps are useful, but the build isn't as clean as Atom OS. Both builds include all the essential Windows packages you need. Also, Windows Defender is removed on both. Atom OS uses 5.5 GB of disk space, while Kernel OS uses 18.2 GB, which is more than three times higher. Now, for the part you care about the most, the resources usage. Atom OS has lower CPU usage and lower RAM usage, which is excellent while kernel OS isn't bad either. It's still 60% better than stock Windows 11. Now, which build have the best post-installed tools? Atom OS post-install includes essentials, important tweaks, daily tools, scripts to revert disabled settings, Windows packages for running apps, and Atom OS wallpapers with advanced tweaks,
While Kernel OS post install has essentials including browsers, useful tools, more advanced tweaks and links for AMD and NVIDIA drivers, OS installs in about 4 minutes, while kernel OS takes about 7 minutes. A 3 minute difference may not be huge, but it's worth noting. Finally, the benchmarks. Apps and games were tested with the following settings. Atom OS highest measured interrupt to process latency is 182, while in kernel OS is was 1000. 172, and for sure that's crazy. Now the most important comparison, Atom OS has higher scores in game, desk, work. It also outperforms kernel OS in GPU, CPU, RAM, SSD, and even USB drives. For sure this is the results. As you can see, Atom OS max latency is 1,432, and the AVG is 697, while in kernel OS, the max is 1,691, and the AVG is 1,450. This is a huge difference for sure, and I will leave all of the clips that I have recorded during testing. Both builds in my Discord server to see yourself. Minecraft. Finally, this is the results of benchmarking Minecraft on both builds for 7 minutes. Each and both are great to be honest. Adam was a bit better for sure. Now let's see the results of everything we tested. Finally, this is the end. The apps used, builds details, detailed settings, PC specs, and the results of all of the benchmarks are in the description.